Hey, Tommy from The Run Testers with another running shoe versus. In this video, myself and Kieran are going to be taking a look at the New Balance More V4 and the On Cloud Monster. Let's take a look. The New Balance Fresh Foam More V4 costs £140 or $149.99. It weighs in at 298 grams or 10.5 ounces for men in a size 8 and the drop is 4 millimeters. The On Cloud Monster costs £150 or $169.99. It weighs in at 275 grams or 9 ounces for men in a size 8 and the drop is 6 millimeters. The Fresh Foam More V4 is a max cushion shoe designed for plush, comfortable miles that features a number of design updates over the More V3. The biggest of those is the addition of even more Fresh Foam X midsole foam that makes it higher and wider than its predecessor, a design feature that aims to improve the stability of the ride as well. New Balance has also updated the outsole with new cushion zones across the length of the shoe as well as flex zones to give it a more natural feel on the run. The shoe still features a rocker profile for a smooth transition and a modified engineered mesh upper that's built to feel plush but ensure ample breathability. The outsole is covered with a generous level of rubber for grip and to protect the midsole foam. There's also a reflective logo on the shoe for added visibility at night. The On Cloud Monster is a max cushion shoe that features a thick Helion Super Foam midsole foam for comfort and cushioning. That foam combines with the full length speedboard and CloudTech design to produce rebound and minimize impact over easy day sessions. There's a mesh upper which offers a stretchy fit while still incorporating some reinforced sections for support and comfort. There's also an ample amount of cushioning around the ankle collar of the shoe with a lean design to the tongue. There's also an eyelet lacing system to ensure a lockdown fit. Now when it comes to fit, I went true to size in both of these shoes in the UK and a half and I, that's how I would recommend. I think they're plenty roomy enough at your regular size. If anything, I feel like the New Balance More V4 has a slightly more hugging feel. There's a bit more room in the toe box of the On Cloud Monster if, that was your, if that's what you're after. A little bit more kind of cushioning up the back of the heel in the More V4 than you'll find in the On Cloud Monster, though that's not lacking in cushioning as well. It's just a bit tighter around the heel and the fit I think is a little bit more kind of snug in there around that kind of heel hole than you'll find from the Cloud Monster, which are overall I think a little bit roomier, but I'd go true to size in both. Okay, so the fit for me in these two shoes is true to size. I definitely stay true to size in these shoes. They're very comfortable. Uh, there's a little bit of space in the front of both of these shoes, so I found them very comfortable. So yeah, true to size. Now, when it comes to the run test, I have done many, many more miles in the On Cloud Monster, hundreds of miles in this one, uh, probably about 25 miles in the New Balance More V4, so slightly less. All of it has been on road, tarmac, kind of pavements, Kind of light off-road sort of stuff, river paths and all that kind of stuff over a mixture of paces. So I put them through pretty much the same kind of test to find out how they perform. I'm going to put them down now though because they're all kind of muddy. I've literally just been out and running them. So I'm going to pop them down for a sec and then talk you through how I found them. Now the first thing I'm going to say is I actually think that both of these shoes are, are actually really surprisingly good for those really sort of casual, easy, everyday miles. So if you're just going to go out, get your head up, look around, enjoy the scenery, uh, without no particular intent, you're not going to be moving at particularly kind of fast paces, then both these shoes do really well. For me, really, the main difference comes into the fact that the More V4 is, is sort of softer underfoot. It's much more, there's much more kind of softness in the main kind of midsole. I think there's also softness in the insole as well compared to the Cloud Monster. It's also a little bit more springy, I would say. There's a bit more of a firmer ride on the On Cloud Monster. You are relying, I think, kind of heavily on the rocker geometry of the On Cloud Monster to get you through that sort of stride nice and kind of efficiently and effectively, where I think you're getting a little bit more kind of return from the sole of the uh, of the more V4. So that's kind of, depends how you like your shoes really. I prefer something that's a little bit firmer. I found the more V4, it's perfectly sort of fine, but a little bit softer. And I think I'd sort of go for the On Cloud Monster over that because of that. In terms of the on the feel foot, I feel like the On Cloud Monster have a little bit more room in and around the toe box. I feel like the uppers and not quite so sort of sort of huggy and dense and compact and sort of foot cradling. So again, if you like a little bit more room and a little bit more uh, sort of air and flex, then I think the On Cloud Monster are going to be for you. I think if you like it kind of tight and snug and kind of foot wrapping and sort of a nice sort of hold in and around the heel and over the foot, uh, the sort of the top of the kind of the, the midfoot and into the toes that I think go for the more V4. 
So I've just come out to do a mile like I like to do with one cloud monster on one foot on the right foot on the left foot I've got the more for and yeah it's just a really good way to get a comparison in and the thing is before you sort of think about the cloud monster as a huge hulking great shoe compared to other shoes and then you put it on next to these and it feels small it feels small it feels com more compact it feels a bit lighter uh, the base is narrower uh, it's definitely firmer underfoot than, the, uh, than the, the New Balance shoe, which is sort of softer. The insole is softer. The wider platform as well is really noticeable. There's much more of that kind of foam sort of spilling out to the edges than you get with the On Cloud Monster. And I don't feel like I get quite as much of a rock or a sort of roll through on the, on the New Balance as I do on the On Cloud Monster. It's a kind of slightly different sensation. I think it's a little bit kind of flatter. It's a little bit more kind of soft. Uh, it does sort of lessen the impact the New Balance shoe, probably a chunk more than the Cloud Monster. I just think you're getting a kind of firmer, sort of more, it sounds crazy, but there's a bit more ground contact with this Cloud Monster, even though you've got those hulking great sort of cloud techs on the bottom than you do with the New Balance shoe. And yeah, that's not to say, I kind of, I actually quite like both. I've, you know, in my earlier tests, I think the New Balance shoe has been good for going out and plodding. It's the kind of run that I would usually use the Cloud Monster for. I think these both can do a really good job. I think if I had to sort of choose based on this sort of one mile that I've done on the overall feel, I think really the difference you're looking at here is a firmer ride in the on shoe, which is something we know on shoes for. Uh, it's maybe a slightly sort of wider base on the New Balance shoe, a softer overall kind of squishier cushioned ride and just a bit more bulk on the foot overall. I feel like they feel a little bit more kind of constrictive or, you know, if you were being positive, you'd sort of say the uppers are a bit more hugging. I think there's a little bit less room in the toe box as well on the New Balance shoe, but um, yeah, a really good comparison. I mean, the, the New Balance shoe is certainly sort of taking big shoes to a new level compared to the On Cloud Monster. Before I sort of put these side by side, you know, I thought the On Cloud Monster was about as big and chunky as it got, but New Balance has gone a step further. In terms of how they ran on the feet as well, obviously the Morve 4 is sort of slightly heavier than the On Cloud Monster. I think when you've got them side by side on that run, you can definitely feel it. There's a bit more weight in the Morve 4. I said if you're going to be using these over kind of really sort of slow miles, and I don't think that sort of matters too much. That is really how I would use both of these shoes. Uh, if, if, I, if I was really sort of picking a shoe that might clip up a little bit better, I'd probably say that I get a bit more kind of roll um, from the On Cloud Monster. So maybe again. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more versatile, then I would go for that. I think the one thing that's really surprising about the Moore V4 is just how much New Balance have basically made a Hoka shoe. <laughs> you know, it's even with the kind of split tail at the back and you know, the whole kind of rocket geometry that you've got. It reminds me of a Hoka Kiwana. Um, it's not as good as like a Hoka Mach 5. And actually, if I picked out of all of the shoes up against the Mach 5, I'd say put these down and go and get yourself a Mach 5, which I think can cope with those sort of longer, slower runs. Much more versatile if you want to go faster as well. So I think you're going to get more value out of something like a Hoka Mach 5 than these two. I guess a quick word as well on stability. Stability-wise, you've got a much sort of wider base right down the whole of the shoe, in the forefoot, in the midfoot, and in the heel on the more V4. So if you're looking for an extra bit of stability, even though the foam I think is softer than the large Cloudtech on the um, on Cloud Monster, I still think you're gonna get a little bit more kind of stability and a wider running platform from the more V4. So if that's something that's important to you, then I would go for those. The on Cloud Monster, they are a stable shoe. They are, have got a big wide base compared to some shoes and they do run firm. You know, there's plenty of width in the heel and in the, in the forefoot for those kind of landing zones. And yeah, it's not by any means an unstable shoe at all, the Cloud Monster, but I think the more V4 just edges it if you're looking for something that offers a little bit more stability. So if you watch the channel, you'll probably know that I'm quite a big fan of the more V3 that came out last year. And now the new Balance more V4 is out, I'm still a big fan. I really like this shoe. I think it's a, just a great all-round cushion shoe that has a lot of nice features, which make it a good option if you're looking for a comfortable cruising shoe which will give you some really nice enjoyable runs the on cloud monster i'd probably go as far as to say that this is probably my favorite shoe that on have ever made I, I think it's a really good balanced cushion shoe and the helium foam that you get in the midsole of the on cloud monster i've never been a massive fan of it in most of uh, on shoes i've always found it to be a little bit too firm and it also doesn't really give the performance benefits that you get from super foams like things like the Zoom X uh, that Nike have and, and, and other foams like that. So the On Cloud Monster actually, by adding loads of that Helion super foam, which is generally a bit of a firmer foam, it actually becomes 
like almost like a different foam. It's it's a little bit bouncier. It's a little bit softer and more comfortable to wear. It's by no means the softest foam out on the market, uh, but it is considerably more comfortable than you'll find in a lot of the other shoes that on produce. So it's a very good option if you're a runner that's looking for a nice balanced cushion shoe, especially if you're an on fan that has probably never really managed to find a cushion shoe that on produced that you like. Um, this is a good option and it's a reason why a lot of people are picking up this shoe recently. Now these two shoes are both good cushioned options but there's a few major differences between the experience that you'll get from these two shoes. That fundamentally comes down to the midsole foam. The Fresh Foam X that you get in the More V4, it's actually a similar scenario to the Helium Foam in the cloud, on Cloud Monster in the fact that in something like the New Balance Fresh Foam 1080 V12, that foam is not particularly soft and at the amount of foam that you get in the 1080 V12, it doesn't really do a lot for me. I find that to be a little bit of a dull shoe um, it's fine it does the job but in comparison to some of the other daily shoes out there it just doesn't do a lot for me and I, I was never a big fan of the um, 1080 v12 when it when I tested it a while back so which makes it quite strange that I really like the more v4 so much because just by adding quite a bit more of that fresh foam X into the midsole it's it suddenly changes the way that 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 foam responds and, and, and how, it, how it, the experience feels in the shoe. It's not the softest shoe out there if you compared it to something like the Nike Invincible 2. It's still a very balanced cushion shoe. It's not it's not a sinking feeling. There's not loads of bounds to it. But I like that balanced midsole foam that sits in between the extremes of things like the Nike Invincible uh, and something like the Hocker Bondi 8, which is a considerably firmer midsole foam. So the New Balance More V4 is a nice balanced cushion feeling. There's a really wide platform on it. Um, and it does have a nice level of support as well, which is not something you always get in cushion shoes. So it's just, for me, a shoe that has a lot of balance across all these different areas. It's, it's just very reliable, very comfortable. There's just enough, enough cushioning in it to feel uh, comfortably soft when you're running out there. But there's also a nice bit of firmness in it as well, so it's, it's, it's still responsive. And you can not go fast in this shoe, but it does feel like there's a nice turnover as you're running, and it's a very efficient shoe as well. So I do a lot of my training in this shoe at the moment. I'm basically running this, running in this shoe most of my runs at the moment. It just feels comfortable, it feels like that run is going to go well. And the level of that midsole foam in there just really works for me. It, it feels good on really slow recovery runs, it feels good on longer runs. And I've, I have done some interval training in this, not to any massive level. I'm not training for a marathon in this shoe as my tempo shoe or anything, but I do feel like it's a little bit more versatile than some of the cushioned options that are out there. The On Cloud Monster isn't that far off the more V4 in what those benefits are. It's a balanced shoe. It does feel like it's got a, a little bit of cushioning in there when it comes to softness. Um, and it is firm enough to feel like you can actually do a bit more in it as well. So um, it's a little bit more responsive than you'll get in some cushion shoes, especially something like the Invincible 2, which has that really soft bounce, but it also has quite a big sinking feeling as well, which I don't really like when I'm training. Um, the only thing I would say about the On Cloud Monster is that for me, it still just doesn't, that midsole foam isn't that exciting in the way that it doesn't really give me much. It it does enough for me to feel like this is a comfortable shoe to wear, but it's by, it's far from an inspiring midsole foam. It doesn't really have quite the level of softness that you get from the More V4. Um, and it doesn't have the responsiveness of that for me either. So I think it's a good cushion shoe, it just doesn't excel in any area for me. So onto my verdict then, I'm gonna pick up these muddy shoes again just to go through this. Well, I really think that these are both shoes I've enjoyed running in actually. I, I, I was surprised that I enjoyed running in the More V4. It's a massive, great hulking, great shoe. I'm not really a big fan of, of oversized shoes in this way. But actually, despite that, I think it ran quite naturally. And I'm surprised. It's surprised it's bigger than the On Cloud Monster, which when I first put this one on, I thought was a really hulking great shoe. And I really quite enjoyed plodding along in this one too. So actually, I don't think there's a huge amount to choose in the performance you're going to get if you're just going out and doing easy miles. These are kind of very good, easy plod miles shoes. The main difference for me is whether or not you're going to want something that's firmer, go for the On Cloud Monster, or you want something that's softer with a bit more of a sort of wide, stable base, go for the more v4 if you want something that maybe is a bit lighter and possibly you can clip up the pace a little bit more with a bit more versatility i'd go on cloud monster uh, in terms of price wise 140 pounds for the new balance 
the on cloud monster 150 but i've seen them advertised now you can pick them up on deals for 100 pounds so you can get slightly cheaper on the on cloud monster so if prices are factor then you know maybe the on cloud monster because it's slightly older might be one to look at but overall if i really had to sort of get off the fence and choose a shoe that i was going to buy i think overall i would choose the on cloud monster so my verdict on these two shoes, I, I think that the New Balance More V4, which will come as no surprise to most of you, is the superior shoe out of both of these. I still think the Cloud Monster is the best shoe that On currently make. I think it's a very good shoe uh, and you can't go wrong with it if you're just looking for something to churn out the uh, easy miles in and just enjoy your runs, really. Um, but I think the New Balance More Before is just far superior for many reasons. It's a little bit softer, a little bit more responsive to me. It's a bit more comfortable. It's got a nice big wide base, so there's a nice landing on it all the time. And for me, it just it just ticks every box I could want from a cushion shoe for easy day runs and longer training sessions. If I'm doing marathon training and I want to do a lot of miles, whereas the On Cloud Monster can do all those things, it's just not as good as the New Balance More V4 for me. I just don't think there's enough smarts in this shoe to make it a really impressive cushioned option. And in the realms of all the other cushioned shoes out there, this is probably sits quite far down the list for me. It will be top 10, but it's not gonna compete with the More V4, but also things like the Triumph 20, the Brooks Glycerin 20. It just doesn't have the cushioned experience that those shoes have and feels a little bit further behind those shoes for me. Okay, so that's it from me and Kieran on the New Balance Fresh Foam More V4 and the On Cloud Monster. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that little bell icon and check the channel out for all the other videos we've got from Lotus Road and Trail Shoes, as well as running headphones and watches out at the moment. And don't forget, we've also got our monthly podcast. If you go into the caption below, you can find a link to the most recent of those podcasts. That comes out at the end of every month, and we normally have a different theme each month that we talk about. So check that out. And if you like it, please leave a rating and maybe a little review for us so that uh, other people can find it as well. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you next time.